Hello students, Instructor Pamela here. I would like to give everybody a thumbs up and a kudos for all of the great work, dedication you have been doing within the course room. Keep up the great work. I would like to review a couple things with the discussion form, the revised rubric that you will um, find within your grading area. Um, you probably notice that there are um, different categories that you can obtain full points in, such as um, exemplary and your proficient. So I've been getting some questions for some students of how to get full points or maximum points in these areas. So for example, in your, um, if you would like to get your full points for your initial post, so utilizing your medical terminology and your use of verbal and communication skills, is a plus to get your maximum points as well as your citations and references. So for your ex exemplary points, you would again, you would want to have citation references as well as the use of your medical terminology as you're developing your communication written and verbal skills with your um, medical terminology. For your proficient, again just using the usage of language and medicine, your medical terminology, and how it flows in your structure and syntax. And uh, if you don't put any citations or references, then you would fall into your proficient category as far as point allocation. And then your satisfactory and unsatisfactory below. Again, these are standard, they stay the same. So if you are performing just at the minimum requirements, you will receive your satisfactory points. And if you are below satisfactory, that means you are either missing some information in your initial post or you're missing engagement with your classmates. So you need a minimum of two responses to your classmates. And it has to be more than, yes, I agree with you, or great post. You want to um, expand on the ideas or the postings of your classmates so you can indulge into the topic as well as mastering your course material. And um, if you're not, of course, performing at all, then that would be below expectations. And then that, again, will be uh, point allocations that you will be missing. So that is the basics on the new revised uh, discussion rubric. So if you have any further questions about um, meeting or exceeding the most possible point allocation, go ahead and send me a text message or email. And also, I would like to touch on the virtual library, which I know many of us have heard so much about and, and is actually utilizing the virtual library. You can access the virtual library through three different areas, your, your student, I'm sorry, your student school kit on the main page when you log into your UMA. And you also can do it through your student course materials when you go into the course room. Again, this helps you with your citations and references and brings you all to the scholarly peer reference uh, review articles, books, magazines. It's all in the virtual library. Also, Ms. Morgan is our virtual library, our librarian across the campuses, and she's doing a fan fabulous job um, updating and keeping us current and how to go to different live labs for citation and referencing, as well as overall writing skills. So if you need any additional assistance with um, citations and references and how to properly cite your papers or anything that you are actually doing research on, please find the live labs for this information and you will be able to begin to or continue to cite all of your work. So with that being said, students, I hope this, this was a little, um, makes it a little bit clearer for you to understand how the discussion rubrics have been revised and how to um, navigate through the virtual library. And as always, thank you for being part of UMA. If you have any further questions, please reach out. As always, Instructor Pamela here, journey well. Bye-bye.